Lotus is 6. Harry bites William head off as Cambridge pokes nose into his relation with Meghan. Prince Harry was incensed when Prince William asked him if he's sure about this following his engagement to Meghan Markle, claiming that he was trying to wreck the relationship. Prince Harry reportedly went ballistic after Prince William uttered five words which caused things to change forever. The Duke of Sussex got engaged to Meghan Markle in November 2017, before the pair married six months later in May 2018. Despite news of their engagement meaning to be a joyous occasion for the couple, Harry became furious with his brother. A source told The Sun that Harry went ballistic and said, you're trying to wreck this relationship before it's even started. Other sources have also claimed Kate and William did not make Meghan feel particularly welcome when she moved to the country. You have to remember that Kate and Harry were always very close too, said one insider. It wasn't a rivalry between the brothers but more a sense that they would be competing over who would lead on their various issues. Harry and Meghan went on to split from the Royal Foundation charity, formed by William and Harry, to set up their own one. Before meeting Meghan, Harry had also reportedly felt awkward as a plus one, but when he met the actress that is when he is said to have finally found his confidence to make a change. Rumors about a rift between the brothers intensified last year when the Duke of Sussex admitted in an interview with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey that he and William were on different paths and with Harry now settled in the US, the pair have had little opportunity for in-person contact since. That wasn't the first time Harry referred to being on different paths from his brother. The tense row quickly boiled over, with Harry claiming his brother was trapped within the royal system during a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey after quitting as a senior royal. And even now, several months on, royal biographer Robert Lacey, who penned the book Battle of Brothers, William, Harry and the inside story of a family in tumult, says their current relationship is poor, definitely poor. Recently, William hosted a party to thank those who helped in erecting a statue of Princess Diana, which was unveiled at Kensington Palace in the summer, but Harry did not attend. And Lacey told Page Six, I've spoken to two people from that party and it was quite clear from things he said that his anger towards Harry remains. He remains unhappy about what his brother has done. There is no immediate possibility of any reconciliation. I mean, it's not wanted on either side. Too many bitter things have been said. However, Lacey did say that despite relations not improving between the brothers, other members of the family, including the Queen and Prince Charles, have put their problems behind them as they look to the future of the monarchy. He added, there have been problems between the Queen and Charles in the past. Certainly problems between William and his father in the past. These are set behind them. And I'm told they have a very good efficient working relationship. And so the future of the royal family, and what it does, you know, is in very sound hands. Charles and William both attended with the Duchess of Cornwall and Duchess of Cambridge, while the Queen recorded a video message for world leaders. In the message, Her Majesty said she could not be more proud of her son Prince Charles and grandson Prince William for leading the campaign to halt climate change. But despite Harry also regularly speaking out on environmental issues, he did not feature in the Queen's speech.
royal biographer Robert Lacey, who penned the book Battle of Brothers, William, Harry and the Inside Story of a Family in Tumult, says their current relationship is poor, definitely poor. Recently, William hosted a party to thank those who helped in erecting a statue of Princess Diana, which was unveiled at Kensington Palace in the summer, but Harry did not attend. And Lacey told Page Six, I've spoken to two people from that party and it was quite clear from things he said that his anger towards Harry remains. He remains unhappy about what his brother has done. There is no immediate possibility of any reconciliation. I mean, it's not wanted on either side. Too many bitter things have been said. However, Lacey did say that despite relations not improving between the brothers, other members of the family, including the Queen and Prince Charles, have put their problems behind them as they look to the future of the monarchy. He added, there have been problems